Shalom. This is Yahweh Tazah. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth for the elect. All right, the house of David. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakak Wadash, Barakatam Akim. All right, tonight I'm coming with another video and some scriptures that re that are regarding doing the work and what it means to inherit the kingdom. Okay? And this also these videos are not only to those that are outside of this video. It's also including myself. All right? Because we're all still in the flesh and we can all fall into a, a situation that could be detrimental to our salvation. But we have to we have to utilize the gifts and the talents that Yahweh Shah has given us to the uplifting of the spirit to the Akium and to ourselves through preaching, prophesying, praying, fasting, rehearsing the righteous acts, making videos. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 1. 14, verse 15, Salakia. Luke 14, verse 15. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, and he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of Yahweh. Then said he unto them, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. All right, so this is Yahweh Shai going into a parable because a man in verse 15 was basically saying, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of, of the Most High. Right? Which is true, but there's certain there's a certain criteria that you have to fulfill in order to to be seated there and to enjoy that feast. All right, that's what everybody in the world is hoping for. Even the two thirds, they think and they hope that the, the Lord has mercy on them. Whether it be uh, uh, the, the entity or the deity Jesus Christ that they call on. All right, the point is, is that they think and believe. And they know that those men are blessed that are going to be in the kingdom of heaven, right? But Yahweh Shah is about to get into it and break things down to him that there's um, a certain way of, of, of accomplishing this. Though we know you're pre predestined from the foundations of the earth to receive this salvation, okay? But that's how some individuals think, you know, that it's just a meal. It's just some knowledge that you are retaining and you're knowing or you're able to regurgitate it. But there's no actions. There's no uh, following in the steps of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being an example, a light to those that are lost. Because that's who we're bringing in, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the elect. That are scattered from the four corners of the earth. So we, the men, starting with Elder Tahar, Elder Gobar, Elder Ar Ariamlab, they are the forefront men that have been preaching onto the highways and the byways and bidding many to come to the feast and telling you, come. All right? Nobody else is telling you the truth at the gravity as Great Millstone. And that's through. That's the, 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 the conduit that Yahweh Bashmi has 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 used to push forth this this truth, man. Whether you want to believe it or not. Alright. Um before I go any further, I don't I don't want to stray too far away and, and um not bring out the point what I'm trying to bring. Um but I want to bring out another scripture here in the book of Proverbs from the sword. This is the book of Proverbs chapter nine, verse one wisdom. Has builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. 
She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. She hath sent forth her maidens. She crieth upon the highest, highest places of the city. Who is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread and drink of my wine, which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish and live. Go in the way of understanding. So this is what Yahweh Shem is telling to those. The, the message is trying to convey to them is you have to have understanding. And when dealing with with Yahweh Shem Yahweh word, you know, and, 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 and the individuals that are seeking after wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that are hunger, that are hungry for uh for uh righteousness, you know, that, that are hungry and thirst after righteousness. Okay? So the maidens in Proverbs nine uh one through five, the maidens is talking about the men on the highways and the byways. Alright, the prophets, the men of the Lord that are on there on the highways and the byways and constantly feeding the flock. All right, being actual, um, a flowing, living river, you know, of water. All right, so going back to Luke fourteen, and uh, seventeen, and his and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, come, for all things are now ready, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. All right, so you're gonna have a bulk of individuals. That know this knowledge and have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they're going to begin to make excuses. Basically, meaning that they're going to fall out for fall out over diverse, you know, for, for diverse situations or reasons. All right. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. You see, so he's trying to convey. He's Yahweh Shai is not even trying. He's conveying a message to those that have ears. Let them hear. All right. Those that have ears, those that have ears, they're going to hear what the spirit is saying. And the servant said, Lord, it is. It is done as thou hast commanded. You see? So you're going to do what is commanded of thee by going out to the highways and the byways, commending those to come into the feast. All right? Coming into the fold of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why? Because the time has come. The feast is ready. You know? It's time. This is the time to where, Lord willing, if you're the elect, you're not only you're not gonna at the uh, put off the mortal clothing, but you're gonna put on the immortal, and you're gonna be forever in safety and peace. Why? Because you strive for the truth to death, and you are consistent. All right, you weren't making excuses. You know, I mean, there's things that happen in your life that it's gonna interfere, things of that nature. But you have to continue to push forward. All right, you have to keep. Keeping your eyes single, focused on that goal, which is what the kingdom and and pleasing and satisfying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, and the servant said in verse twenty two, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, that that my house may be filled. So that takes action. So you're gonna go out into the highways and the byways, your sidewalk, all right, your your down, your, your you know your downtown area and your city, your town, whatever it is, or you might just be, you know, somewhere in the wilderness like John the Baptist was, all right. But the point is, is you're gonna go out into the highways and the byways. You're gonna be out there in the in the trenches and the gutters. 
You know, you're going to be presenting your body a living sacrifice. You're going to be doing the work. You know. That his house may be filled. All right, because there's one third that, that, that are going to be sealed. Then the end's going to come, man. For I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Right. See, there's certain individuals that are not going to take part in that. They're not going to be take part in, in, in drinking that, that wine that Yahweh Shai promised to the disciples that, you know, he's going to um, drink wine with them in the kingdom. They're not going to take part in that. All right. Because many, uh, what does it say? The first, the first or last, right? The last or first. All right. Basically, you know, so. The ones that were called and that were um, supposed to receive it, they rejected it, man. Just like Esau. They despised it. And there were great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, Right? If any man come to me and hate not his father, mother, wife, children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Meaning you're never going to learn. You're never going to pick up the information and, 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 and following and pleasing Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai with faith. All right. So you have to come to Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai with the mind frame that nothing's going to interfere with you and the work and, pro and, and, and the progress and the business of Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know. So it says, and whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So bearing the cross of Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai takes, comes, Salaki, comes with persecution, suffering, um, you know, diverse uh, it, uh, things that are unpleasing to one, you know, that makes people, uh, brings people into uncomfortable situations, you know. So you have to um, not only um, reject certain things that are in your life that consist of, you know, fathers, women, children, things of that nature. But also you have to bear, you have to be able to bear the cross that comes, you know, the suffering that comes with following Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai. Real quick, let me go from there to the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples. And exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we much through much trib that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So, through much tribulation, right, you shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So that's part of bearing the cross. That's the bearing bearing your cross is that you're gonna go through certain things, you know, um, but you can't make no excuses, man. You got to keep going, pushing forward. All right, going back to Luke. All right. Let's see. Luke 14 and 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? At least happily, after he had laid the foundation. And is not able to finish it. All that behold it began to mock him saying. This man began to build and was not able to finish. You see so this is talking about work man. It's talking about doing. Uh, or you know doing. Be, putting things into action. So. You're going to build something. And you're not able to uh, finish. You know means that you're in, in, in some form of action man. You're moving. But then when you just quit, what happens? You're going to get mocked at. You know, you're going to be considered to be a, a sluggard, slothful, you know, having the spirit of indolent, indolency. All right. Lackadaisical. Lazy. You know. So you're going to be you're going to be mocked at. And you're going to be cast out. OK, verse 31 oh, or what king? Going to make war against another king, sit it not down first, 
and consulted 